Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. Today we're going to present our mini project titled Investigation into Student Satisfaction in Online Class for June 2020 session. My name is Abdul Reza Daniel bin Abdul Rahman and my metric number is 10DTK19F1020 and the other member names are Heng Shang Yi with metric number 10DTK19F1004 Muhammad Aiman Hakim bin Abdul Hadi with metric number 10DTK19F1009 and lastly Muhammad Akmal bin Abdul Aziz with metric number 10DTK19F1010 First, I'm going to present for section A about demographic information. According to the data that we gathered from our survey for gender, the about 70% of the respondents are male and 30% are female. For department, 48% of the respondents are from electrical engineering department and 20% are from commerce and another 20% are from information technology and communication and the least 12% uh, are responded from mechanical engineering. My name is Heng Sangi, combo metric 10 DTK 19 F1004. This graph shows the data the respondent using PC, handphone or laptop for online class. And for this graph, X axis is represent the number of the respondent in percentage and well Y axis is represent yes or no. And we can see from the bar chart the percentage of the student answer yes is more than the percentage of the student answer no. And so the longer bar of the chart is made out of 19x percentage are voting yes. And meanwhile, the shorter bar only considered of two percentages are voting no. So in conclusion, the majority of the students have PC, handphone, or laptop to attend the online class. Okay, now I'm going to present the bar graph for question two. The bar graph above represent the respondent feedback on. Did your place of stay has an appropriate internet connection to coordinate with online learning? The X axis represents the number of respondents in percentage, while the Y axis represents the yes and no. According to the graph, the highest frequency which accounted for 78% of the respondents picked yes. Meanwhile, the respondent who picked no is drastically lower than yes, which accounted for 22% only. To conclude, Best among our students has an appropriate internet connection to coordinate with online learning at their place. Okay, now I'm going to present the pie chart for question 3. The pie chart portrays the respondent feedback on rate the internet speed satisfaction at your place of stay. The four choices that the respondent can pick are very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied, and very dissatisfied. The yellow segment, which is the smallest segment out of all the segments, shows that only 10% of the respondents picked very, very dissatisfied. After that, the green segment, which is the second smallest segment that recorded only slightly above 10%, is for the respondent who picked very satisfied. Afterward, the second largest segment with the blue hue, which accounted for less than a quarter is for the respondent who picked dissatisfied dissatisfied lastly the largest segment of the chart with the red hue which make up more than half of the pie is for the respondent that picked satisfied with the internet speed connection to sum it all up most Majority of the students are satisfied with their internet speed and only a few that are very dissatisfied. This pie chart shows how much time did the respondents spend at their device during the pandemic in a single day. There are five segments. The blue color is one to three hours, red color is four to six hours, 
yellow color is 7 to 8 sour, green color is 9 to 10 sour, and the last, the purple color is more than 10 sour. Well, first, the radial segment of the chart is 3 10 of the total respondents state that 4 to 6 hours spent in a day. And next, there are two identical values recorded is 7 to x hour and more than 10 hour is accounted for 13 out of 15 of the total respondent. And 9 to 10 hour of the other hand is recorded slightly more than the 10 of the respondent. In fact, the small fraction of the respondent spend 1 to 3 hour is in a deck that only and comply 4% of the total respondent. Or in conclusion, the majority of the students spend their time at the device in a range from 4 to 6 hours in a single day. Hi, my name is Muhammad Ayman Hakim Biabdiadi. I'm from DTK48. Um, my matrix number is 10 DTK19F1009. Uh, so that's for my introductions. I will start the presentations. Um, as you can see, this pie chart indicates the problem that respondent face in online class. It consists of four popular problems, which is technical issues, internet problems, lack of in-person interactions, and the time management. As you can see here, the smaller segment that makes up less than 10% state that um, Time management is the least problem that respondents face in online class. Next, the uh, lack of in-person interactions is the second most common popular problems that respondents face while studying online class. With just 4% difference, technical issue got the third place. Finally, uh, this largest segment that makes up half of this pie chart state that internet problem is the most problem that respondents face in online class. As, uh, to sum up, we can see here the most problem the most problem that respondents face in online class is internet problem followed by lack of in-person interactions. And the third place is technical issues, and the least problem is time management. Thank you. This pie chart indicates the difficulties level of learning via online class. As you can see, majority of the respondents thought uh, learning via online class is difficult, which accounted 64% vote as the highest. Next, uh, the respondents vote not difficult at the second place which accounted 80% and with just and which is on difference of 2% uh, the segment of very difficult got the third place finally only a small minority prefer learning via online class which vote for, uh, for very not difficult which accounted only 2% as the conclusion that we can see here the majority of the respondents prefer learning face-to-face -face than learning via online class and it proved learning via class is difficult for them. Thank you. Assalamualaikum Puan. The first thing I want to intro myself. My name is Muhammad Atma Biabraziz. My metric number is 10DTK19F1010. Now I want to explain my graph. Uh, the graph the bar graph illustrate the responder answer on whether the responder ever missed an online class due to the internet problems. For the graph, we show the yes or no frequency for this topic. It can be clearly seen that more than half of the respondent answer for yes. Then the being left behind in online class says due to the internet problem. For the conclusion, uh, online class also has advantage and disadvantage. And now, I want to talk about 
we have a uh, some devices for this graph. The one of each which uh, is the due to internet problem. This pie chart indicates the difficulty of sending an assignment via online. As you can see here, the largest segment that makes up of half of the total respondents state that the majority of them agree that sending an assignment via online is the medium with 3 star vote as the highest. Next, 2 star was voted uh, for 20% which make them to be the second largest segments in this pie chart. Meanwhile, the third highest vote was 4 star uh, which accounted 40% with only 2% difference with the segment 1 star. Finally, the segment 5 star is the least vote which accounted 4% only. As the conclusion that we can see here, the majority of them responding that difficulty of sending an assignment via online is medium. Thank you. This bar graph saw whether the respondent experienced that submission of assignment due to the internet problem. Now the act as seen is represent the number of respondent in person test. Now the y as seen is represent yes and no. In this graph, we can be clearly seen that the representative of yes is the longer frequency the cover of the respondent. If by the option of no is significantly lower than yes. And the percentage of the yes had 74% and only have 26% for no. So in conclusion, the majority of the student has experienced in late submission of assignment due to internet problem. Okay, now I want to present about this graph. The bar graph illustrate the respondent feedback, opinion on the whether the online class for the June 2020 season we are successful. From the graph, it can be said that a majority of responded answer for yes. To the answer is this, uh, this mean this online class in June 2020 season we are successful as a day we are able to learn of their own space and study at their convenience. Meanwhile, the online class meanwhile only a small respondent say no. The sound there the answer is may give them some problem due to the pro to possible in problem that make they feel learning class class from online is so difficult for learn. For conclusion is I can explain that the probability on online class learning is successful with uh, ratio 7 to 3 or 70% from physical respondent.